Here's another email promising me an easy fortune. This one's called the Nigerian 419 fraud. The scam artist asks permission to temporarily deposit money into your account as a means of getting it out of their country. You get promised a large percentage, but in reality, all you do is lose your life savings. Think nobody falls for it? Wrong. In 2006, it cost US victims an estimated $790 million. It's up 10% from the previous year. These emails are hoaxes. Remember, if it looks too good to be true, it is. Think you're clever with your choice and password? If you recognize yours, you may as well hand over your identity to the next stranger you meet. Here's a tip. Use a combination of letters and numbers that don't make a word in the English language. Okay, the other week a hacker broke into my friend's wireless. They went into her router and changed the password. She couldn't get in for a week. There are a number of simple things you can do to prevent this from happening to you. First, Immediately after setting up your network, you should change the default password. Use a seemingly random combination of letters and numbers and keep that safe. Second, the name of your router, known as the Service Set Identifier, or SSID, gets broadcasted out to everyone in range. Simply turn this off. Now, use the Wi-Fi Protected Encryption, known as WPA, instead of WEP. WPA has stronger encryption and is more difficult for hackers to get through. These options are given when setting up passwords on your router. Now, wireless poaching can be harmless, but in many instances, hackers have gone into the networks and gathered information for illegal use. So, be smart and secure your wireless right from the beginning.